Unpack the phrase, understanding, tear into. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a very interesting English phrase, tear into. This phrase can be a bit confusing for English learners because it has more than one meaning and is used in different contexts. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use this phrase like a native speaker. So, let's get started. When we first hear, tear into, we might imagine something being ripped or torn apart physically. For example, the child tore into the wrapping paper to get to the present. The lion tore into its prey. In these sentences, tear into, means to rip or cut something open quickly and with force. It's used when something is being opened or destroyed aggressively. Apart from the literal sense, tear into is often used in a figurative way. When someone tears into another person, it doesn't mean they physically rip them apart. Instead, it means to criticize someone very harshly or start eating something with enthusiasm. Let's break this down. Subsection 2.1 criticizing harshly. The boss tore into the employee for the mistake in the report. In this context, tear into is used to describe someone who is being verbally attacked or criticized very strongly. Subsection 2.2. Eating with enthusiasm. After the workout, he tore into a sandwich like he hadn't eaten all day. Here, tear into illustrates the act of starting to eat something very quickly and with great appetite. Remember, the phrase, tear into, can be quite informal and may not always be appropriate for formal situations. Also, the tone of voice can change the meaning. A playful tone may make the phrase sound less serious, while a stern tone may emphasize disapproval or criticism. There you have it. You now understand the different ways to use the phrase, tear into. Whether it's ripping into a gift, criticizing someone, or devouring a meal, you'll be able to express yourself clearly and accurately. Keep practicing your English and don't be afraid to tear into new challenges and opportunities to use your language skills. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful.